In my Gen 15, the solo can do design, I experimented using heat fusion to create slots on the gunnel and then use PVC pipes to provide longitudinal strength to the canoe. It works. Now I'm experimenting this idea on a longer canoe. It also has more folds to minimize the folded size for transportation. This two person canoe has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight folds. I create more slots on the gunnel and I use a 10 feet long PVC pipe which I cut into two sections. Because the PVC pipe is much longer, I cannot make a U-shaped stiffener like my one-person canoe. I create a cross beam and slide into the ends of the PVC pipes. I use a lashing to hold it in place. It seemed to work well. I have the same setup at the other end of the boat. I've tried to use aluminum tubing, but it's too rigid and the PVC pipe seems to work better because it's easy to curve into the shape I want to. One thing differs a lot from the other canoe is when I fold it together, I have many sections. At first, I wasn't too sure how good it is to able to support multiple folding sections. After I did it, it seems to be pretty strong and I, be, I believe it will work. One other thing I'm not too sure is whether I need to have another stiffener here or maybe somewhere here. So if I lift it up, can I? So it's not bad. Now this is the whole bowl already. Everything. It looks fine. Yeah. So it. I don't know what's the right placement of the seats. Therefore, I make the seats to be movable. So is the floor. I reused the floor from my old boat my Gen 3 boat, which is made up of a 2 inches foam core and it is very strong. When I place that floor at the center of the boat together with the orange lashing, create a strong structure near the center of the boat. The seats at the bow and at the stern also prevent the sides of the boat from collapsing inward. The seat at the back can also be moved too. I will seal the joint with silicon sealant both at the top and at the bottom and then put the tape on it too. The boat is almost done. Again, thanks for your support and subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't done so, please do, so you will be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.